ఐ ఎమ్ డాక్టర్ జార్జీ నైనన్ డైరెక్టర్ కొచ్చిన్ కిడ్నీ సెంటర్ సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ నెఫ్రాలజిస్ లేక్ షోర్ హాస్పిటల్ సిరమ్ క్రియాట్నిన్ ఈస్ ఎ గుడ్ లెబోరటరీ పారామీటర్ టు అసెస్ ద కిడ్నీ ఫంక్షన్ ఐ విల్ బీ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ ఆఫ్ సిరమ్ క్రియాట్నిన్ టు క్రోనిక్ కిడ్నీ ఫెయిలియర్ అట్ డిఫరెంట్ స్టేజెస్ క్రోనిక్ కిడ్నీ డిసీజ్ ఈజ్ ఇంక్రీసింగ్ ఇన్ ఇండియా డయాబెటిస్ ఈస్ ద కామనెస్ట్ cause of chronic kidney disease in our country increased amount of microalbumin is the earliest sign by which one can detect chronic kidney disease especially in diabetic patients presence of protein leakage is a cardinal sign of kidney disease as the kidney failure progresses urine albumin is seen in routine tests as trace 1 plus to 4 plus in ckd most of the patients complain of frothing of the urine frothing of the urine is due to the presence of protein leakage into the urine along with this we can have our red blood cells in the urine normal rbc is up to 4 cells per cubic millimeter wbcs or pustules are also seen in the urine pustules need not be of bacterial origin this can be confirmed with a good urine culture and sensitivity many ckds also can produce pus leakage of pus or wbcs in the urine normal serum creatinine is up to 1.4 mg per cent in ckd creatinine may vary one can have ckd with even normal creatinine of 1.4 this may be characterized by presence of protein leakage leakage of red blood cells or leakage of wbc or pustules serum creatinine up to 1.4 is normal when a healthy person donates one of his two kidneys his creatinine does not increase this is the biggest evidence to say that 50% of kidneys have to be damaged before serum creatinine increases and once serum creatinine increases consistently above 1.4 it means that both kidneys are involved as chronic kidney disease progresses creatinine increases more than 1.4 only when 50% of both kidneys are involved creatinine will go above 1.4 urinary abnormalities may be seen and high blood pressure is also an accompaniment of chronic kidney disease in many as ckd progresses creatinine will gradually increase from 1.4 onwards by the time it reaches 2.53 bca rapid rise in the creatinine with the progression of the disease or with any slight provocation like uncontrolled bp uncontrolled sugar or infections with further deterioration of the chronic kidney disease a very rapid increase in creatinine is seen in many people from 5452 89 needing dialysis support or replacement the reversible factors should be looked into like any infection obstruction any unwanted medicine use uncontrolled bp etc how can we prevent the progression of ckd 
from beginning till it reaches the renal replacement therapy area diet control is very important there is a separate video on diet control please listen to that control of blood pressure and blood sugar is very important we have to control the calcium phosphorus uric acid cholesterol in ckd patients a good evaluation should be done to see if there is any obstruction to the flow of urine like stones or prostate enlargement in the males hemoglobin is controlled by erythropoietin released from the kidney so anemia is a part of the chronic kidney disease hp should be maintained at 10.5 with erythropoietin and adequate supply of iron preferably intravenous vaccination against hepatitis b flu covid influenza and chicken pox should be done for ckd patients because any of these infections are known to worsen the ckd as chronic kidney disease worsens creatinine will increase and when it reaches 4 to 5 mg v1 has to consider an arteriovenous fistula this is more so needed in patients who have no plans for transplantation av fistula means connecting a vein the artery and vein in the forearm it is done in the left hand it takes 2 months for the avf to mature and the vein to become big and artery realized this is to facilitate the doing of dialysis so that 200 ml of blood can be taken out from the vein and returned to the vein above as creatinine reaches 5 it is a indication for considering renal replacement therapy popularly known as rrt either transplantation or dialysis may be thought depends upon many factors and whatever be your decision we have to plan accordingly to implement transplantation as a first choice if possible if not be on dialysis and then consider transplantation later chronic kidney disease is progressive despite diet control and uh, uh, other measures as creatinine reaches 8 mg percent in many healthy relatively healthy people and in some people earlier than that complications do occur complications have to be looked for most of them are lab wise biochemical changes like hypocalcemia or low calcium high phosphorus anemia sodium uh, r- r- lowering uncontrolled blood pressure needing more bp medications and refractory to treatment swelling is seen in legs face and all over the body swelling is a balance of intake and output so all these complications have to be also managed along with the treatment of chronic kidney disease once creatinine is above 7 it will progress to progress further and uh, you will need a renal replacement therapy kidney transplantation is the most appropriate therapy 
an elective kidney transplantation is the best to do a kidney transplantation you have to identify a kidney donor the donor should be of a compatible blood group that means o can give it to anybody ab can receive from anybody a and b should be given only to that group irrespective of rh positive or negative so blood group compatible donor has to be identified finance is to be arranged or arrangements from the insurance or reimbursable agency will be will have to be arranged irrespective of the donor a kidney transplantation at lake shore will cost around 11 lakhs without any complication this is for the surgery of the donor and recipient and for that two weeks till that time dialysis has to be continued donor test is extra any complication is extra there are three types of kidney donors the best is the live related suitable donor second is the cadaver kidney donor that means persons who are dying with brain death following accident and other reasons can donate organs to other needy deserving people this is organized by our knos or mrida sanjeevini a government ngo organization and lastly you have to identify a good nephrologist and a good hospital for doing the kidney transplantation you are most welcome to come to us to do this uh, to do the transplantation so think about all these things when create nin reaches 5 and plan accordingly if you can't plan at that time go on to dialysis and while on dialysis you can still plan thank you